I'd say about seven years ago, we were doing work on a roof, and right below us, because the project was in such a such a rush to get done. I mean, just like any other customer, they want things yesterday, you know. Um, we were working over the plumbers, and the plumbers were uh, running radiant heat, and you know, into the floor, getting ready for concrete. Um, one of the issues was that uh, you know everybody had their gun in their hand, and there wasn't a product at that point in time that could hold your your cordless drill. Throughout the course of that that day, we've probably dropped our guns probably about six or seven times, and it got to about 11, 11:30, where I said, "Okay, that's it. You know, we're shutting down. These guys have to work, no matter what the the customer says. I can't put these guys in harm's way." So we all got off the roof, and uh, you know, I had an idea in my head, and we went to the local Home Depot and started grabbing parts and pieces from uh, uh, commercial door stops to aluminum flat stocks to uh, small springs and uh, rubber stops and uh, belt loops and we basically took all these things and we spawned the idea of the Gorilla Hook and uh, that was our first prototype. The Gorilla Hook sits strapped into your belt, either your work belt or your regular you know, um, pant belt and it allows you to place the gun at your hip to where it can't fall out, you can't drop it, you can't lose it. There's the dimensions of the hook alone secure it in a way that, uh, in a way that um, there's no position the gun can go in in order to fall out. You just take it and you pretty much drop it in, uh, you know, like uh, you would drop a sack of potatoes on the ground. You know what I mean? You just you take it, you put it up against the side of your hip, and you know it. Uh, it pretty much does it does the rest for you. Uh, well, for one, you have pretty much a simple J hook. It laps over your belt so that it, it isn't actually even secured properly, um, and it's uh, just a simple J to where you could take your gun and the handle on your gun would would sit in between the J on on the hook itself. Another one is the um, is a bungee type uh, uh, hook, which again, that one it's only it only laps over the belt. It doesn't fully connect into the belt, so there's nothing fully uh, encompassing the belt so that it, the hook can stay to the belt properly or stay secured to the belt. And you know the other downfall to that one is that it's a two-handed process. Say you lift your leg high to walk over over a uh, block or whatnot, you do a high step. Um, potentially, the head of the gun. And this has happened before, the head of the gun hits off the front of your leg, your thigh, and it knocks the gun right off the loop, right off the hook. The other, the, the other product uh, that we also had tested, I mean, because we've pretty much gone through all of them, um, was, a, uh, uh, was made up of uh, canvas and uh, some large rivets and whatnot. And you would slide it into the gun into the holster. So when you would try to put your gun in there and you would go to clip, sometimes it would just fall right out. It would back right out before you can even get it, so you'd find yourself as well using two hands. Like with our Gorilla Hook, uh, that doesn't happen. You know, you can, you can monkey around in any position and, you know, jump and skip and do whatever it may be, and this thing, it stays secured on you.